Hi everyone, this is Jake Jeet and we're going to learn how to find sine, cos and tan of standard angles. So our standard angles are 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 45, 60 and 90. Now I want you to remember these formulas folks. Sine theta is square root of fingers on the right over 2. Cos theta is square root of fingers on the left over 2 and tan theta is going to be square root of fingers on the right over square root of fingers on the left. Again, now I'm going to explain this part to you. I want you to raise your left hand, folks. We're going to raise our left hand and we're going to put it on the wall, okay? Or you can put it on the table in front of you. We need to make sure it always has to be our left hand and we need to put it down like that. We can't have it like that, folks. We need to put it down like that, okay? So our standard angles are 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90. Our thumb is our 0. This is 30. This is 45. This is 60. And this is 90. Once more, folks, our thumb is 0. This is 30. This is 45, 60, and 90. Let's say I asked you to find sine 30 degrees. Now, if we were trying to find sine 30, you would want to first bend your 30 degree finger. Again, this is my 30 degree finger. I'm going to bend it. And the formula for sine is square root of fingers on the right over 2. Guys, ask yourself, how many fingers are on the right? I only see one finger on the right, folks. So we're going to plug in 1 over there. So that gives me square root of 1 over 2, which is just going to be 1 over 2. Now, for sine 45, we're going to bend our 45 degree finger. And I see two fingers on the right, guys. It's square root of fingers on the right over 2. So we see 2 over there, so it's going to be square root of 2 over 2. Now guys, I just want you to remember square root 2 over 2 can be rewritten as 1 over square root 2. If you just rationalize this, you're going to end up with square root 2 over 2. So I want you to remember this because sometimes it might be written as 1 over square root 2. Okay, next up, if we wanted to find sine 60, you bend your 60 degree finger. Now I see we have 3 fingers on the right, so it's going to be square root of 3 over 2. So sine 60 is just going to be square root of 3 over 2. Now, had I asked you to find sine of 0, we would bend our 0 degrees. And then we see we have no fingers on the right. So the fingers on the right are 0. So it's going to be square root of 0 over 2, which is just 0. To find sine 90, we're going to bend our 90 degrees. And we've got 4 fingers on the right. So it's going to be square root of 4 over 2. And guys, square root of 4 is 2, and 2 over 2 is just going to be 1. Moving forward, I want you to remember sine 90 and sine 0 off the top of your head. Guys, we're going to be using these very commonly, very often. So I want you to remember these two off the top of your head. Okay? And now, we're going to solve for cos. So let's start off with cos 30. Now the formula for cos is square root of fingers on the left over 2. To find cos 30, we're going to bend our 30 degree finger. Now I see we have three fingers on the left. Now we're looking at the fingers on the left here, folks. We've got three fingers on the left. So it's going to be square root of 3 over 2. So that would be square root of 3 over 2. Let's get cos 45. We're going to bend the 45. I see we've got two fingers on the left. So it'll be square root of 2 over 2. And guys, again, square root 2 over 2 can be written as 1 over square root 2. Okay, let's find cos 60. We're going to bend our 60. Now I only see one finger on the left. So it's going to be square root of 1 over 2, which is 1 over 2. Cos 0, we're going to bend our 0. I see we've got four fingers on the left. So it's going to be square root of 4 over 2, which is 2 over 2, which is going to be 1. And cos 90. Well, we've got no fingers on the left, so it's going to be 0. So it's going to be square root of 0 over 2, which is just 0. Okay? So we got all the standard angles for sine. We got all the standard angles for cos. And now we're going to get to all the standard angles for tan. We're going to start off with tan 0. I'm going to bend my 0 degrees. Now, the formula for tan is square root of fingers on the right divided by square root of fingers on the left. Guys, if I'm trying to find tan 0, I bend my 0 degree. There are no fingers on the right. So the square root of, at the top, we're going to just have square root of 0. And the fingers on the left are 4. At the bottom, we're going to put square root of 4. But 0 over anything is just going to be 0. 
let's find tan 30. So my fingers on the right are one. At the top, I will put square root of one. And my fingers on the left are three. So at the bottom, I will put square root of three. Now that would just be one over square root of three. Guys, remember this, it's square root of fingers on the right over square root of fingers on the left. Okay, let's get tan 45. I'm in my 45. I've got two fingers on the right, so it's going to be square root 2 at the top. I've got two fingers on the left, it's going to be square root 2 at the bottom. And that's just 1. Let's get tan 0, or let's say tan 60. So we went our 60, we've got three fingers on the right, so it's going to be square root of 3 at the top. And one finger on the left, <clears throat> that's going to be square root of 1, that would just be square root of 3. Now we need to be really careful about tan 90 folks, I've seen many people make mistakes on that. So to find tan 90, I'm going to bend my 90. I've got four fingers on the right, so at the top I have square root of 4. And I have no fingers on the left, so it's going to be just square root of 0. That's 2 over 0. Now anything over 0 is undefined. Not 0 folks, it's undefined. So this is undefined. Tan 90 is undefined. Thank you very much.